So this is really exciting news for the businesses. And uh, you know, I even have a customer telling me that should I sign up now? I worry about you know when you open, I won't have a space for you. You know, like. I, <laughs> So, Corey, you know, I, I, have a, I have a hard question for you, okay? You know, we've been talking to a lot of people here at PTC. We ask them, you know, what they see in the future for telecommunications, and we get different answers. So it was, we had this off-the-record conversation with a fellow from Amazon. That was very interesting. Now, Amazon sees this as very important. A telecom for everybody. We live more of our lives, like it or not, in telecom than we ever did before. And the generations coming up are, mm, they're gonna live more of their lives in, in telecom, connecting with everyone everywhere. Um, and one guy we talked to a minute ago uh, was into texting. It's a texting service. And they text not only, not only on, uh, on cell phones, but they provide texting on landlines. And I suppose you can do that on VoIP easily. Huh? Yeah. So, uh, my question to you is, where, where is telecom going in the world? Uh, you know, I mean, you're here so you can smell out the answer. So far, we're only on day one. Have you, have you worked out the answer, Corey? Where is it going? Yeah, I, I would say Richard might have a better answer than me. <laughs> but it's uh, Corey's idea. <laughs> so, you know, when you look at the progression of our companies, really from, you know, phones, internet, cloud, and now find a data center. So when we see the future, we think cloud is going to be the future. You know, just like everybody talk now, you know, like content is the king, right? So eventually, you know, people, you know, right now, you know, like you have cell phone pictures, those things. Do you even save in your hard drive? Most people are just saving the iCloud, you know, if they don't. So cloud is going to be the future. And to enable cloud, you know, that's why we build data center, we have five optic networks, and Eventually, you know, I think the business side is going to follow the consumer, right? Consumer is already moving in the cloud, so business will do the same thing. Hawaii is about two to three years behind the mainland. You know, most of the business in Hawaii, they're still thinking about, okay, move the cloud, let's move the email server to the cloud, right? Have Office 365 or Gmail instead of have the own exchange server, maintain it, manage it. So we see, you know, in within two or US three term, People will move the application, move the data to the cloud. That's why when we build a data center, we want to not only provide a local cloud, give people low latency, you know, local support, package them together. We want to also help these medium, large business to migrate the cloud. So that's why we have the solid infrastructure. But at the end of the day, as we said, you know, lots of these things don't matter once you have the foundation. Right, but you need a solid foundation. Once we have that, you know, we're going to focus on moving to the cloud, help customers move to the cloud, and help how I business move to the cloud. I'm learning about the cloud now, and I don't know what I would do without the cloud. It's sort of like a data center all, all in my laptop, because I can have as much stuff as I want, and it's automatically safe in the cloud. And from a business point of view, that's what the, the data center does. Um, but you know what? Uh, we have to hear from a millennial or an almost millennial. Charity, what are you going to be demanding in terms of the future? What do you want to see telecom get you? What do you want to see the cloud get you? What is going to be your demand five or ten years from now? I would probably want, like, now. I want things now or I want to make sure and when I want it right away, I want to ensure or have confidence in knowing that uh, it's, like for example, uh, you know, we're thinking cloud, right? That, that's definitely where it's going. And so as I, a personal example, I have my cell phone and I have a lot of pictures on it. And I don't want to transfer it over to a hard drive as, as we all do automatically, um, we can save it to the cloud. So what I want to do and make my life easier is to be able to just save all of my pictures to the cloud and not even think about it and just know, okay, at any given time in the future, I can go back to that and have access to it without even worrying about, is it there? Is it really, there? where's the cloud? Like, I want to be able to have my, <laughs> I guess that's the little thing, right? We want it now and we want to just ensure and have confidence in where we have our information that it's it's safe 
and I can get to it whenever I need to. And um, yeah, that just technology continues to grow and whatever is available to make my life easier, <laughs> um, that's what I would want. You know, the, the Microsoft people have a cloud. Mm -hmm. The Apple people have a cloud. Mm -hmm. Amazon has a cloud. Mm -hmm. All those guys have a cloud. Do I need to have a cloud with all of them? Because sometimes I can't remember what cloud I left it with. So <laughs> what do I do, Corey? So Amazon, Microsoft, all you know, there are a lot of big cloud providers. Um, I would say if you are looking into having a cloud service, I recommend having a local private cloud hosting service just because, uh, especially when you're, a lot of data that's being hosted in the cloud, you want it to, you know, it might be confidential, it might be something that, you, you know, you don't want other people to have access to. So I recommend, especially for if you're a local business or someone here in Hawaii, to go with someone like Surfpack who provides more of a private hosting service. It's just more secure, more safe, um, and you know that your data is available locally in the right hands. Yeah, I mean, we are really, really excited about you know attending this event, present our company to the world, and talking about going forward. You know, we see you know all these clouds, and we see you know it's going to be a multi-cloud because one cloud cannot service everybody needs. So you need to have you know different clouds, including local, including you know Amazon, you know Azure, you know Google. But we're here to help people navigate through the process to be able to say, hey, this application is better to run on um, Microsoft, this application is based on AWS, but there is other applications need a low latency, you know, high IOPS, you know, you want to run locally in Hawaii, which, you know, by the way, we have a cloud for you. So we want to be really the integrator to give customer the whole 10 key solution. As I said, end of the day, customer care about the service. They don't care what the back end which is cloud is. They want to be able to, as Charity said, access the information right away at the fingertip without thinking. I take it you guys agree with that. Is there anything there you want to disagree with? Speak now. <laughs> OK, I'm sold, Richard. We got to talk. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Thank you, Charity. Thank you, Corey. Great to talk to you guys. Aloha.